What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel here from the Geek Speak Nation channel and I'm here to bring you my reaction to the first official trailer of Marvel's The Inhumans. So this project has been a long time coming uh, and a lot of that has to do with the conflict between Kevin Feige and Ike Perlmutter. Uh, these two figureheads here at Disney and Marvel uh, are two very powerful people who have clashed in the past with what projects they want to greenlit and which ones they want to stop uh, and essentially it came down down to Inhumans wanting to be a movie, but Kevin Feige saying no because so many projects have been squashed by Ike Perlmutter uh, from being with TV and movie crossovers and things of that nature. Very complicated rivalry, but at the end of the day, thankfully these two have separated and they all answer to <laughs> <laughs> one almighty Bob Iger uh, at the end of the day. So with that being solved, we finally got an Inhumans TV show. And, you know, it, it, this is going to be an interesting step forward. Now, I don't watch uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so I am a little behind on what Inhumans are and their whole entire backstory and how it's being changed and adapted for, uh, you know, for the MCU audience and how that's going to be, of course, different from the comic books. But nevertheless, what I want to see from this trailer is something that convinces me to be like, okay, this, even though you don't know in humans and you're not, may not be caught up with what's going on with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., this is still a show that might appeal to you. Because, I mean, a lot of what I've been hearing is it's being pitched as, uh, you know, Marvel's Game of Thrones uh, in, a, in a way. And you even got an actor uh, from Game of Thrones. You get the one uh, who played as, oh my gosh, his name is escaping me. But he played as uh, in the one of the bastards, one of the Battle of the Bastards. Uh, just a terrible terrible, terrible human being he played as. Uh, but with that being said, guys, um, let's check out this trailer, see what this series is trying to pitch us, uh, and see whether or not we actually are going to or going not going to buy into this. Here we go. Sooner or later, the humans are going to find us up here. You should have known this day was coming. supposed to follow our king and remain as silent as he is. We need to go to Earth now. We've been hiding here too long. Let's go to our rightful home. Ramsey Bolton. That's what it is. If we were on Earth, we would have a glorious planet to live on. Thrive on! You're talking about betraying your brother. You're talking about treason. You're blind to his intentions. Right or wrong, he's dangerous. What I'm talking about is freedom. Freedom for all inhumans. Are you going to use your voice to kill your only brother? Stop it! What the? <laughs> Filled with IMAX cameras. We will not let anyone or anything stop us. We will create our destiny. Ah! Nothing can keep us from being free. <clears throat> adorable CGI dog. Uh, so, when it, uh, there are a little bit of hints of Black Bolt powers and he's got that kind of like Black Canary sonar voice thing going on. Um, uh, there are a little hints of that. I think if you don't know that Black Bolt has those powers, uh, you, you you will not have really caught that uh, at the end of him going, Ugh! and then, you know, the police car, you know, flies over. Uh, with that being said, uh, I think this is an interesting choice to go with. Uh, the fallen king, betrayed by his brother, uh, has to find his way uh, back uh, to the throne. I think that that is a good angle to go towards with uh, enticing people to watch this season. Um, um, but uh, it, it it doesn't quite sell me 
fully on everything. Uh, I think I would have liked a little more insight into who the characters are. Uh, I mean, I don't need long monologues. I don't need title cards popping up like it's the, you know, the intro credit sequence to Suicide Squad or anything like that. But I think this trailer could have done with a little more, a little more exposition with at least character names and some uh, relations and things of that nature besides just catching out like, oh, that's the queen. Oh, I guess that's the brother. That's the king. And he's got to find his way back from Earth uh, back to the moon from Earth. Um, but with that being said, guys, I guess that's kind of where I stand right now. I, I don't know much about the Inhumans, so nothing about that really struck me too much. Uh, but I will say it looks like they really are going pretty all the way with the production value, which is nice. Because I feel like when you're doing something like the Inhumans and you have these characters with some pretty bombastic powers, uh, you got to go all the way with that budget-wise. And you can't be afraid to throw a few shillings at it. Uh, so it looks like they are committing to, to having... Uh, a good bit of a budget for the show especially when you're dealing with that massive dog uh, who costs a lot of money uh, to do CGI for that uh, and that always messes up with messes with production schedules when you have big CGI characters like that I mean just ask the flash and how their schedules get reworked because they have all these CGI villains um, with that being said, guys, let me know what you think about this trailer in the comment sections down below. And if you are a big Inhumans fan, tell me, what are the Inhumans all about? What makes them so cool? And what makes you so excited about this TV show? Let me know in the comment sections down below, ladies and gentlemen. And with that, uh, if you like my reaction and you like my review, don't forget to go down there and hit that like button. And if you're new here, maybe subscribe and become a part of the Geek Nation. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is what we do every day. Uh, well, at least try to and uh, put out more content exactly like this and just have some meaningful uh, nerdy discussions. I've been Daniel and don't forget to get geeky.